Well, guys, it's been a few days since the old Bitcoin ETFs have been approved. Fidelities, BlackRock, all those guys have gotten their approval. The uh, Fidelity Bitcoin uh, ETF is right here. It is ticker symbol FBTC. I think I purchased a few bucks. Oh, my God, I don't know, 41, 42. It dropped. But uh, that leads me into this discussion is the old saying has always been true where you buy the rumor and you sell the news. The uh, ETFs, all the rumor was good for Bitcoin and running up the price. Remember, it went up to 48K, and then the SEC put out their so-called fake tweet, which I think was by design, an internal job, just to uh, jack the price up, So, or uh, actually spike the price, and then when they came out and said, oh, it was a hack, and then, uh, oh, wow, look, Bitcoin dropped you know, way down after that because, oh my God, the SEC got hacked. Yeah, we know what's up. We know the game and we ain't part of it. So anyway, the uh, ETFs in a way have uh, failed Bitcoin basically due to the fact if you know the game, you would basically buy the rumor when everyone's saying, oh my God, the ETFs are going to be approved. Oh, get ready, get ready. Everything's going to go to the moon. Boom. So let's go fast forward a couple days later to today. And we had 42,873 right now. And let's go back up here. We were up, we were up to about, if I can get this right on there, 46, 47, 47. And there was that spike in there when the fake tweet came out from the SEC, which did spike at the 48,000. So here we are today. We are hovering about 42,800. And I'm going to zoom out here. Let's go. Let's zoom out. All right. We got it right there. And we're going to see what else we got going on here. Can I go? This is the old Coinbase Pro app, uh, formerly GDAT. Let's do one day. There we go. That's a little too much. Oh, let's cut that back. Can I zoom in? Oh, there we go. Let's do. Oh yeah, there we go. January, December 24. Yeah, you can see the run up in the price. Look at that. I think that was the day of the fake news. Yep, that's about right. So almost 40, was it? 49,000. Boom. So again, the old saying is true. Buy the rumor and you sell when the news came out, man. And then now we're all the way down to 42.7, kind of hovering right there at 42.7. Uh, I bought in a little bit today thinking, okay, let's just see what happens. Because typically, too, with this uh, uh, buy the rumor, sell the news stuff, like with IPOs and that, you buy it. Oh, you're so excited. You buy it once the IPOs of, say, Coinbase or Tesla come out. It, it usually drops 20%. And then you're sitting there holding the bag for a few months. But then it eventually comes back. Like Coinbase shot to the moon, uh, what, a couple weeks ago last month. Uh, NVIDIA, same thing. And even Tesla for a time was 33 bucks a share. And then it shot up like a year later. Uh, you don't know. But again, it's just a good old saying. Sit back, relax, watch the pricing. Uh, and just be careful because look what's happening right now. Let's go back to the five minute window. And we're down at 40. Oh, we're holding about 42. It's, it's fighting. We got a little bit of volume right here, which might have been a big sell off. See that candle going down? Jimmy Candle's here. God, if I start talking like those guys, just please let me know. It's it could go up, it could go down, it could go sideways, or I can't do nothing at all. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm just trying to point out my perceptions. But we were down earlier to forty two thousand five hundred, and now we're kind of found a sweet spot about forty two eight. You never know what this crap is going to do. But again, it just goes to show you the hype, the hype, the fake tweet, supposed wink, wink, say no more, nudge, nudge. Fake tweet from the boys at the SEC. Uh, yeah, running the price up a Bitcoin on their fake news and then quickly uh, having their boys cash out. And then they say, oh, it was a fake tweet and then dropping it back down so they can buy back in. Uh, yeah, we know what's up. Anyway, that's where we're at today. Mining is a bit down as well. It's dropped around 50 cents for the Ryzen 9 3900Xs. So I kind of just turn them off for a little bit to see if it gets up to above, uh, say, 60 cents and I'll turn it back on. I uh, just don't want it. No need to run it if I don't need to run it, if I'm just kind of making a couple pennies. Uh, so once I get about 50 cents, I usually fire them back up. I check maybe once a day 
on the uh, mining prices. That's it. That's my little update. Uh, nothing else going on. I just want to show you some news articles real quick and we'll get the hell out of here. Uh, stocks. Yeah, there's FBTC again. This is Fidelity's. Oh, pro tip. If you want to buy crypto through your retirement accounts, IRA, Roth, you can actually go into, I don't know about Vanguard and the other ones, but with Fidelity, you can have uh, a Roth and an IRA accounts, different accounts, right? You can go in and buy FBTC, your Fidelity Wise Origin Bitcoin ETF through that retirement fund. And there are all the trades and all the capital gains tax deferred, right? Roth, you're not going to pay any. I'll have to check if you can do it through the Roth. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, or did I do it? I did through an IRA. I just purchased a couple pennies just to see if I could do it. And uh, that, what a great way just to defer any tax liability because you're not going to pay the gains on that because it's in a retirement thing. Kind of a nice way to do it and not worry about, oh my God, I just bought and sold 50, you know, 50 times Bitcoin up and down, blah, blah, blah. And I got to report all that crap. It's a pain in the butt uh, on after tax stuff. So this is a little pro tip. So with Bitcoin, what's going on? What is happening with the Bitcoin? Of course, the crypt crypto bulls see Bitcoin flying above 100,000 after ETF approval. Maybe. Nobody knows. Nobody knows, guys. It's all, look at CNBC. I look at the source. These guys are mainstream media, propaganda machines. You just always doubt but verify. Uh, let's see. Then they talk about Yahoo Finance, how everyday investors and retirement savers should approach spot Bitcoin ETFs. Yahoo for being such a crappy thing. They started out okay, search engine and all this stuff, and they kind of lost their way and lost a lot of interest. They actually have a good financial page. Uh, if you get rid of their bias and their ideology and stuff, go to the financial stuff. They actually have good stock pages and good information. That's about the only thing good about Yahoo. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're still around. It's like AOL. Uh, let's see, Bitcoin ETFs are live. Cue the fee for, key the fee war. Yeah, Coinbase may make out with the fees, but Coinbase is probably one of the worst players out there as far as exchanges and that. You cannot even link a bank account. It, their system is so broken. Uh, yeah, it's, and, and all their support is out of Bangalore, India. And it's just a joke, man. It's just a joke. They're not serious about being a real company. Otherwise, the support would be US based with high tech people helping you out. But now they don't give a crap. All right, U.S. Bitcoin ETFs off to a roaring start with 4.6 billion in trading volume. That's a good sign. Lots of people dumping into the old ETFs because you know, because uh, you know, Theodore up in his uh, mansion in New York doesn't want to buy Bitcoin on an exchange and put it in a wallet somewhere. That's just too much work for him. If he can go to his boys at Vanguard and say, "Hey, Tiffy, uh, please purchase me a billion dollars of your Bitcoin ETF and put it into my portfolio," Damn, easy button, bum, done. And that's that's the that's the beauty of the ETF. It opens it up to mass adoptions among the normies. Uh, let's see. That's all I'm going to talk about. You get the gist of what it is. They're putting some positive spin out there. But when you look at the numbers, we're, you know, obviously you go by the numbers. It all, goes, uh, it all goes back to the old saying like I started the video with. Is uh, you basically buy the rumor and sell the news. Yeah, good luck with that. All right. Talk to you all later. Have a good one.